Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today, we are talking about the last of the Stephen King novels so far, The Outsider. Um, this is really fresh in my mind, but I do have some notes, so if you see me looking off to the side, that's what I'm doing. Um, because there's a lot to unpack here, um, and the, the funniest part about this is it almost feels as if, if you've watched this entire series so far, it feels as if Stephen King, I know he didn't, don't get me wrong, like Stephen King wrote this book just to confirm everything that I have said up until this point. The way The Outsider ends, I'm going to be spoiling the entirety of this book. I'll probably be, well, I will be talking about it. I will be talking about Dreamcatchers. I will be talking about Tommyknockers, all those. Let's just go ahead and say if you have not read all of Stephen King's work and you don't like spoilers, GTFO, okay? So... This one is really fresh in my mind, um, and it's, I mean, I did the review for it very recently. I will leave a link to the review down there if you want to go watch that. I talk about that in depth, but I just want to get to the connections for this one. Right off the bat, um, when the outsider dies, he releases little worm-like creatures. If you've read Dreamcatcher, when... Those entities, when they inf well, when they inf they start off as little worms. They, they call them shit weasels, but they're little worm-like alien creatures. Um, the outsider also feeds off of sorrow, like Pennywise fed off fear. Also, like Pennywise, he prefers children. Um, at tw well, at the end, when they when they when Ralph and Holly finally confront, if you hear bangs and booms, it's the Fourth of July when I'm doing this. Um, when Ralph and Holly finally confront the outsider at the end of the book, he asks them if they've ever met anyone like him. So he knows there are others like him. Now, did he come with the original aliens from the Tommyknockers? Um, did, he, did he come with the aliens from Dreamcatcher? Or was he just another entity like Pennywise or It, whatever you want to call the entity? Um, did he crash land here like Pennywise did. How long has he been around? So many more questions have opened up, but it also confirms my entire series and the, the this whole 30 plus episode series where I tried to tie all these things together given those three books. It, Tommyknockers, and Dreamcatcher. The Outsider does that. At least I feel it does. Another thing is the Outsider is a shapeshifter, um, and, but he works a little differently than Pennywise did. Um, Pennywise goes off of the fear, whereas this entity runs off of the blood. It uses the blood or the DNA of others to become them, which I found really, really interesting. Um, another thing that this, somebody brought up the connection, or I think it was Jake LaFrance, my friend Jake, he said this book reminded him a lot of the dark half, which I do see the similarities. There's a big difference um, in the plot, but it does use that same um, taking over someone's identity to do, you know, murder and evil things, and then, you know, screwing up their life. So, um, let's see here. Last thing is the outsider mentions Ka. So, all these things come together where Dreamcatcher, you don't have a hard connection to the Dark Tower series, other than the way I connect that one and the Tommyknockers to the to the, the world as a whole, where Pennywise, I've always thought that Pennywise was a gray, and I firmly believe that the outsider is also. Now, what are the grays? The grays, I believe, are creatures from the Prim, or creatures from Tadash Darkness, however you want to put it. They're the demons and the other worldly things that you find. Another thing is, I don't so much believe that they are, somebody mentioned that they're creatures of the wasteland, like where the, when Blaine goes over the wasteland, they see all the creatures down below. I don't believe that has anything to do with those. I think those are just mutant creatures. Now, as far as the Prim and the old ones are concerned, I think all that is connected to these books in our time. And things just get through, whether it be um, thinnies or whether it be you know any number of things, whether it be just be doors. Um, and you know doors are very significant in the King verse. Anyway, so that's everything. I am super pleased with this book. If for nothing else, then Stephen King brought my theories all together 
And it happened about a month before I shot the final novel episode of this. Like, all this was planned. It's pretty epic. It was not. Um, I don't know Stephen King. I'm pretty sure he hasn't even watched this show. But, uh, yeah, what did you think of The Outsider? Um, did I miss any other connections? I probably did. Um, because I was so focused on the Pennywise, Dreamcatcher, Tommyknockers, Outsider connection that I might have missed something else. And also, I had a blast reading this book. If there's anything else that you know of... Also, the, the city in here, I don't think... The, is the main city title... Is it like Flint City? I can't remember. But it's a big, sprawling landscape. Well, it's a, it's a major city. Um, whereas in the Mercedes trilogy, he doesn't name the city. And I'm wondering if these things occurred in the same place. Anyways, let me know what you, down, what you think down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!